Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today we're going to talk about a type of slide that we see often uh, in reporting, uh, either uh, from sales reporting or operational reporting, talking about future events or in this case products. And here's the slide that was sent to me recently for a workshop talking about uh, new products that are going to be introduced in the next uh, just over a year and a half. And so what they've done is a typical bullet point slide. They've listed each product that's going to be introduced and the overall time frame. Now, as they're talking about it, they they do talk about when they're actually introducing each of these uh, products. But it's tough for the audience to really understand that or put it in perspective because uh, they'd have to be taking detailed notes in order to be able to do that. Instead of this uh, plain bullet point slide, here's what I did. As I created a timeline slide. So here's what the makeover looks like. So let's talk about our new product timeline over the next seven quarters. At the end of this quarter, we're just about ready to introduce our new safety design glasses. Now, what's important about these particular glasses is, and we talk about what's important, what are the new features, why now is the right time to introduce them. Then our next product coming at the end of this year are the disposable cleaning wipes. Now, right now on the market, we have reusable cleaning wipes. What we're finding in the marketplace is there's a great demand for single use because it's cleaning grease or other things that you can't really reuse the wipe. Now, and we start talking, again, we can continue to talk about what's valuable about this product, why introducing it at the end of the year is going to be particularly important. And we can move on to the final one. In our uh, third quarter of next year, we're going to introduce a brand new product that's under development right now. And it is particularly important for those industries or areas where humidity is a challenge. See, in these wipes, we're going to be able to have a coating that will put an anti-fog coating onto the glass. And, and again, again, we go through all of the features, why introducing it next year, why can't we introduce it earlier, the development timeline, and so on. What we've done here in this visual is we've given a product timeline. We have a timeline along the bottom. We have photographs of the products so people really grasp it. And they see, because it's equally spaced, they see sort of how it's spaced out, when it's tighter, and when it's a little more space and a little more time. So what are the lessons we can learn from uh, today's makeover? Well, before we get to that, just a reminder, for more information on the book, go to www.visualslideRevolution.com. For more information on my training, consulting, videos, other resources, go to www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons today for using a timeline instead of simply just that list of dates or list of uh, items. First of all, you can create a timeline very easily. In PowerPoint, there are two functions, the align and the distribute function, allow you to line up all of the text and the lines uh, exactly equally. Uh, and then, so equal at the top or bottom, center, however you want to do it. And then the distribute function allows you to take those little tech marks or the text and distribute them evenly over a region. It's very important that your timeline be equally spaced because otherwise it does not give an accurate picture to your audience. And whenever it's not accurate because they know it's not spaced out right, uh, it becomes tricky. And if you ever try to space it out by hand, it's almost impossible. So that's the first lesson to learn. Next, instead of simply listing uh, the text, actually use photos. Illustrate on the timeline, place the photo on the timeline where it's supposed to be so people understand, okay, here's where it is along this time frame that they're talking about. And then you can't just use a picture in my mind. I think you need to add text because the, people need to understand what is that picture of, especially if it's a new item. In this case, they were new products. We wouldn't necessarily recognize what that photo is because we've never seen it before. So always add text for that clarity, whether it's a, the, as, as it was in this case, the description of the product, the name, or it might be a specific date that's important that it's being introduced on. So always add the text to add that additional clarity. And finally, as we did uh, in this example, build those uh, products, in this case it was products or any other item, one by one. Why? Because you want to explain what it is, why the timing is important along the timeline. It gives additional context to the audience so they understand the point of what you're talking about. Hope that's been useful for you. This is Dave Parody, and that's been another Slide Makeover video podcast.